course, more sports news. Today is marking the Oakland A's final home game at the Coliseum, leaving fans just one last chance to pack the stands there. Your reporter Madison Keevy is live looking at how those fans are feeling. Madison, looks like you're having a good time. Mixed emotions is probably the words of the day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you hit the nail on the head there. You know, I had a script all written for you, and I just was talking to some fans. And, and because we're from Sacramento, we're getting a lot of questions on, you know, what the vibes are in Sacramento. And, and really, it's bittersweet. There's uh, a lot of fans here who are, of course, celebrating all of the memories they've had over the years. I want to show you some of the video we took earlier uh, of the tailgates. You know, it's the tradition, right? And it's not just tradition that started in the last 5, 10, 15 years. I've met fans that have been A's uh, diehards for decades. This is third, fourth generations. You see families walking in the gates today with the youngest generation to the oldest generation. And as you walk around tailgates, the conversation kind of signals that this isn't just any other game. There's a lot of reminiscing that's going on as people pack the stands. Uh, and we met one family from Sacramento that made the drive up today. And their story is, is special, but it's like many A's fans, they have history. Got really mixed feelings about all this. You know, this is a place where I've come, and as a kid, my dad took me here to watch games. Sorry, he just passed away uh, about a year ago, and uh, big Philadelphia A's fan. And so, in a lot of ways, it's like a, a funeral for me. But in a lot of ways, I had so many good memories here. And that's really the sentiment. I mean, it kind of sums it up. It's that playoff energy. You can hear the fans. They're packing the house. The parking lot and the tailgate was full by nearly 8 a.m. this morning, which is not typical. But fans know that this is history in the making. And I'm just going to move. You can kind of see here just how many people are coming in. The game starts in about a half hour. And, and, and like I said, the energy is, is really, it, it's good. These fans are not going to stop being A's fans. But... They have some questions for the owner, as we know, and they're just here to be in the moment and, and, and be part of what's not just Oakland history, but also MLB history today. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I wonder how many of those fans had never actually been to the Coliseum, some of the younger fans, and this might be the only chance they get to see the A's play there on that turf. What a special day. And we've also got your reporter, Ashley Williams, at the Coliseum. She is now live with a little bit of a story of her own family ties. And this is really just painting the picture. The Bay Area ties do spread into the Sacramento area for you all, especially. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Dina, we always say that I'm from Elk Grove, but I was born in Oakland. My dad is from Oakland. My grandmother's house was right here to my right in the Oakland Hills. But I have personal ties, yes, from my dad, but my uncle, uh, somebody who you'll see in just a moment, has had, uh, is this calling the A's extended family. And again, one of hundreds of stories we're hearing, but this one is personal and a little extra emotional. It took place on April 17, 1968. It was a night game against the uh, Baltimore Orioles. Latell Romez, also the man who happens to be my uncle, remembers vividly being at the first home game of the Oakland Athletics, immediately falling in love with the A's culture. It embodies the, the grittiness of Oakland as a city. You know, you don't have to be big in numbers, but you're big in spirit, you're big in, in, in tenacity, you, you, you walk with a certain swag. A diehard A's fan remembering the days of the greats. Joe Rudy, Sal Bando, these campy campaneras, these guys were ballers, man. But while remembering the good times, my uncle gets emotional thinking about the enormous loss to the city. It's like grabbing, just, just snatching your heart out your body. You know, you can't, you can't live without your heart. I've had some of the best years of my life. As an Oakland A's fan, man. And just like my dad, he worked as a vendor at the Coliseum, selling popcorn and soda. But beyond that, the family had immediate ties to the organization. The A's, he says, was an extension of the family. My mother used to watch the players' kids during the game. My father used to work there, my brother worked there in the skyboxes. It was just a, it was like family, man. 
For thousands of fans, the emotion is deeper than just saying goodbye to a baseball team. It's the family memories, and for many, a reminder of those who have passed on. It's like a death in the family, man. Despite the roller coaster of emotions, the love for the team will always remain. And how do you not get choked up watching that very interview? I had a chance to talk with my dad as well. But what you just saw there, that's the kind of the bitter part of everything. But then there's the sweet part. You're seeing families, generations coming in for this final game here in Oakland. Dina, back over to you. You know, they may not get to watch a game there, but the memories will last a lifetime. Thank you so much, Ashley, for bringing us your family's stories today.